Welcome again. This is Jim here on Educator.com, Lessons on WordPress. In the previous lesson, we talked about PHP. Today's lessons, we're going to talk about HTML, more up our alley, some of us at least. And we're going to talk about how to control HTML in WordPress. There are three methods to do so. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. One of them, of course, is using the uh, HTML tab which uh, I will show you in a second here. Then the next thing is to use theme generators. And finally, we'll talk about plugins, okay? Plugins that allow you to take an HTML and convert, or to actually convert an HTML site. So the whole purpose of this is that if you have a website that's made in HTML, Dreamweaver, front page, whichever you use, uh, we can convert that into WordPress, and that's the whole idea behind this lesson. And of course, like I mentioned, the three uh, bullet points that you see on the screen right here, we're, we're going to go ahead and talk about the, those are the three ways of doing it. And we're going to go ahead and talk about exactly how to do the website, regular website to WordPress conversion. Okay, so let's go ahead and dive right in and talk about how to use the HTML tab. And what I mean by the HTML tab, if you notice here, this is a regular website right here. And what we did was we took the information and added to our WordPress just like it was any other post or blog. So I'm going to go ahead and open up a browser here. Okay, here we go. So we're going to take uh, this website here and now it could be as simple as copying the whole thing. So what I normally do is I just move my cursor over. Look how it's all selected. Or I use Command A on a Macintosh or Control A on a PC. Okay, should I write that down? I think I'll go ahead and do that. So uh, Control A on a PC and Command A on a Mac. Okay, so you want to base basically use those uh, control keys and uh, whatever works, and then you want to do Control C or Command C to uh, copy the content. And what we do is we go to our post, our WordPress, and all I do is do Control V or Command V, and there it is. Okay, notice that if you look at it, I know it's not much. We can try and preview it if possible. Let's see what happens. And there you can see portions of it. Of course, you know, it's got to be the right theme. It's got to be the right, uh, uh, you know, basically the right uh, width. But if you had the right, let's, let's go to another. Uh, I'll, I'll use another one here. One second here. Let's go to this one here. I have two different WordPress accounts, and I'm using both. So let's go ahead and add this uh, site right here. <clears throat> there it is right there. And let's go ahead and preview. And we got a pop-up blocker. All right, let's see if we can do this. Allow it. Why not, huh? <laughs> Let's go ahead and try it again. Preview. There it is. Some of those pop-up blockers are more annoying than they're worth, but then again, I see the importance. Now again, it goes inside the theme that you've created, but if you can notice that if, if the sidebar wasn't there, if all this wasn't there, in other words, if it was, if it was a perfect world, uh, well, you would see that the, uh, the information from that site is here. So what I did was basically is I hit, here is your HTML tab right here. If you can notice, I'll go ahead and increase the size a little bit for those you want to notice. The HTML tab has got to be in the HTML tab. And when you do copy and paste like a, a website like I just did, you'll notice that the HTML is automatically generated for you. So you can do it that way. However, this only works for websites that are kind of straight. And the thing is that you got to understand is that, uh, you know, like for instance here we got name and email collection. It doesn't necessarily mean that the programming is also set in stone. So you got to make sure that you have a very clear theme, that the theme uh, is the same width of the website, which, you know, most websites are about 1,100 pixels across. 
and this one maybe a little bit less but you got to make sure that the theme can fit the website now unfortunately and I do apologize that I implemented the HTML tag or the code into uh, a theme that existed there so you want to clear all uh, restrictive themes you basically want to have an open site uh, so you can copy and paste your HTML um, you can also do this uh, you can also do whoops let's go back here you can also do a right click and you can do a view page source and you can copy the entire source code so again what's the keyword control or command a to select control or command c to copy all right let's go ahead and get rid of the, this so let's go ahead and go in here and then you can go to click on html okay and then I copied everything here and then you can take a look at how it looks like looks like a, you know basically got everything so in other words by copying the code I am copying exactly what the website looks like so that's one way of doing it okay that is just one way and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'll go ahead and trash this if I could yeah move to trash let's move it so let's let's take out the garbage but anyways that's again it's it's a, a basic very easy way just copy and pasting code all right so that's uh, that's one way of doing it um, let's go ahead and get rid of this all right moving on to the next slide